How's it going, everybody? I want to do a, a deep dive on IPEC GOAT and two days before the sixth GOAT full moon since the total lunar of July 5th, 2020. I'm sorry, it was a penumbral lunar on July 5th, but it was a GOAT full moon so it was a goat full moon lunar eclipse interesting in 2020 if we remember back there were four lunar eclipses in 2020 they all four were penumbral lunar eclipses fascinating and this is the year of the dragon as 2012, the Dark Knight Rises and those London opening ceremony, very deeply satanic Olympics, that opening ceremonies, when they showed you the 2020 therapy and illness. And we've done some deep dives into that and uh, shown you. Um, what was it that we could say? Uh, hang on. Well, if you go back and you watch those London Olympics opening ceremonies, what we can tell you is that there was this whole, where is my, there it is. Let's, let's spell it out. What, was in those opening ceremonies. Are you kidding me? Come on. There we go. You see that word right there? Big. Why are we in all caps? Oh, no. We don't like all caps. My goodness gracious, people. Yeah, it's all caps. Y'all reading that? The London Olympics had that, the therapy, as And remember, that was all over TikTok in 2020. What was? That was. Remember that? That was also in the 2012 opening ceremonies. And that was also in the opening ceremonies. It's all predictive programming for 2020. But that was the year of the dragon. And it's year of the dragon again. And now the Olympics are in Paris, London. Paris, Paris, London. And the opening ceremonies are on 726, which is Antichrist. Seven twenty six is Antichrist in English gematria, which is six times simple gematria. If we show you over here, Antichrist, it is four forty in Hebrew, or this one calls it Jewish gematria. This one calls it Hebrew. This one over here calls something else Hebrew. 
But the one that gives us the number of the man, S-I-X, 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 comes to Donald John Trump, is the one that is Jewish gematria on this website and Hebrew gematria on the other. But Antichrist in simple gematria, where A is 1 and Z is 26, Antichrist is 121. Do you remember in Back to the Future, the... 121 gigawatts was how you went 88 miles per hour. And of course, we all know that. And we all know that 88, 88 miles per hour out of time. We all know that 88 is Trump and simple Gematria, where A is 1, Z is 26. Not an accident. And remember, Back to the Future writers admitted that they based Biff and Back to the Future 2 off of Trump as he owned casinos and had the weird hair. And the gigantic gold T was also on his table, but it was in the shape of a lamp, but it was that perfect T. And the money sign was also on the table, which was Trump's theme song with The Apprentice. So... And Trump is 47, and, and the Jewish Hebrew gematria, excuse me, it's 470, and we know about his campaign is called Agenda 47. So I want to get back in here to IPET GOAT. And when you get to the beginning of IPET GOAT, It opens with the six moons. What moons? Because it's lights in the sky is the moon, right? And there's six of them. And you say to yourself, well, six what moons? Six Capricorn moons. Capricorn is the sea goat. This is called I pet goat. They were reading the pet goat when the twin Trumps got hit and Bush was in that classroom. In Sarasota, and of course, in Donnie Darko, it was called the Sarasota Mall. We remember that. Anyway, six moons, and we count those full moons. Remember, right now we are in the middle of two goat or Capricorn full moons. Very rare. Very rare. That means one is excluded. I don't know if it was. Yeah, I think what gets excluded then would be the Aquarius full moon, perhaps. I don't know. But you see the blue eyes. We know who's got the blue eyes. We see the 666 on the forehead. And we know that July 19th is two days before a full moon. That's what I'm thinking the event is because an IPEC goat, he rises up through a full moon, as we've showed you many times. And when he rises up, the dark night rises, he rises up out of that abyss, the hole in the ground. He rises up at the North Pole. That's why there's all snow. Because it's not a pole, it's the center of the circle of the earth. And so there's the pit, there's the right eye wound, and he rises up to a full moon. And the full moon is the 21st. We know that the dark night, we know Jesus rose on the third day, the dark night rises, came out two days after the dark night, darkened right eye, Zechariah eleven seventeen. The Dark Knight Rises came out two days after the Dark Knight. They were four leap years. They were four years apart, both on leap years. They were four years apart. But the Dark Knight was July 18th. The Dark Knight Rises was July 20th. So we see what they did there. Rises on the third day. So two days before a full moon, I always say that's our highest watch day. I will tell you that the 19th, is on a Friday. We know Jesus died. 
basically, from what we understand, on a Friday, rose on a Sunday. Remember, one minute of a day in the world in the Jewish world counts as an entire day when they are talking about days. So let's get back to Capricorn Moon. And his birthing on the Aquarius moon, his rising on, yes, it's a full moon in Capricorn, but you see the splish splash of the water bearer of Aquarius. Aquarius is the water bearer. It's not a water sign. It's an air sign. But it is the water bearer. Because the water breaks when you're birthed. In his birthing, see the water splish splashing in the background? This is representing birthing as he's coming through the birth canal. Now, an AI did this. They gave you a front man, just like Steve Jobs was a front man. You know, they always give you a front man. People. Tesla. Elon. The AI tells them from the top, at the top, what to do, and then humans trickle it on down and tell everybody what to do. The chain of command. An AI did this, I pet goat. It is 727 in length, which when you go to prime numbers, on day 128, it's 719, excuse me, on, on the 128th prime number, it's 719. On the 129th, it's 727. So 719 is right next to 727. The length of IPEC GOAT is 727. On their YouTube channel. I'm not going to get into how 128 relates to murder. Because they are personal ciphers, and I'm putting this across the board. So, there's that. What have we got to do? So if we were to show you the full moon in Capricorn is at 6.16 a.m. And then it goes into Aquarius an hour and a half later. Well, like an hour... Wow, that's crazy. So from 16 to 46, I think that's an hour and 27 minutes later, 616 to 743. I'm picturing a clock where the 16 is. You go straight across is 46, go down three is 43. So instead of an hour and 30, it's an hour and 27. And Aquarius is the water bearer about the birthing as he's coming through that birth canal. Because there's no reason to call Aquarius the water bearer. It's not a water sign. And this because of, because in 2020, you had that lunar eclipse on the buck full moon in July. I'm, excuse, I'm sorry, Capricorn full moon was a lunar eclipse in 2020. That crazy year. And then you had Capricorn full moon 2021. That's two. 2022, that's three. Where am I? 2020 was one. 2021 is two. 2022 is three. 2023 is four. 
And then in 2024, we have two Capricorn goat full moons. Sea goat is Capricorn. You go back to June, it is also the full moon in Capricorn. The full moon is at 2107. It goes into Capricorn at 1909. So it's full at Capricorn, June 21st, which was also the summer solstice. Just to be curious, in August, the full moon is at 1425. is at 225 and it goes into no we get an aquarius full moon on august 19th i don't know which sign gets shorted maybe it was earlier but i would suspect it was later But somebody gets shorted as it starts to move off of this time frame. Because it's a full moon at, at 225, but it doesn't go into Pisces until 652. I'll look at September just to see. It's a full moon lunar eclipse. On the 17th, it's not a total lunar, and it is in Pisces, so Pisces doesn't get shorted either. Interesting. I don't know when, how it works, but you got 12 months, you got 12 signs, and you have, maybe there's 13 moons this year. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We know there was a blue moon in um, 2023. So, yeah, let's get back to IPEC GOAT and go over that. Because that's, that's something that's very key. With Lily sitting in the classroom. As she sits in the classroom... There's the buck over her head, but that's Year of the Rabbit. Year of the Rabbit was 2023. And you see the 12 moons in back of her. They all have craters, but they're blue because that year was a blue moon in August. And you see the heads joined like Siamese twins. So that's the month of August. And you're like, well, if there was a blue moon, there must have been 13 moons. And what she has in her hand is the total solar eclipse. Or she is the total solar eclipse. She's sitting inside the corona, the ring. Which is called a corona. And we all know about 2020. And when she rolls that apple across the floor... It rolls across, she's sad, and the apple rolls, and it splits, and it births what was the flower full moon on May 5th, 2023. So that's your 13th full moon, which is probably how everything got askewed, out of balance. I don't know. I'm guessing. I don't know when these moons get made up or how it works, but... It would take me a while to research that, and we don't have that kind of time, do we? Try to make this video as short as possible. Um, and then that flower full moon makes Obama sweat, and the sweat bead goes down his, down his face. And... So now we're going to go back and we're going to look There's one before we do that I want to take a look at 
at the Dark Knight Rises release date on the last year of the Dragon. It was on July 20th, and this year, if we're correct, about the 19th, it, he would rise on the full moon of July 21st. So what do they do? It went up 12 years, one day. That's 121 Antichrist, 121 giga, gigawatts or whatever from Back to the Future. It's 4,384 days. 38 is murder and reverse full reduction, Gematria. That means on the murder day, it would be 4,382. But again, the 121 is coded from the Dark Knight Rises to when he would actually spiritually rise out of the spiritual abyss pit, but that's really nothing more than him being possessed by Satan. And then he runs World War III, who can make war with the beast, but everybody's going to think he's dead until he appears to the world as seemingly risen from the dead and putting it into World War III. And at that point, the earth is extremely supernatural. The false prophet is performing lying signs and wonders. Jesus said it, it will, it'll be a deception so great that if it were possible, the very elect would be fooled, that even the sheep would be fooled because it's just, it says, for God shall send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. It's going to be extremely supernatural. Anytime you're living in the Bible, it's supernatural. You'll be living in the Bible in real time in the book of Revelation. White horse at the very latest is his crowning or rising on the third day. If it's not the deadly wound event on the actual day that they stage it to the twin. Clone, twin, twin trumps. So the dark night rises to this day later, July 20th, 2012 to J July 21st, 2024. Again, 12 years, one day, but it's also 144 months, which is the church and one day. When you look at the seconds, there's a 777 in there and the hours. We're always told to look at the hours from the movie with Meryl Streep or Nicole Kidman called The Hours. The second most depressing movie you'll ever watch, besides a very good friend of mine like to joke that the most depressing movie ever seen was, let me try to think of it. Um, oh, there's no way. Hang on. I'll have to pause. I'll tell you what, I've done this before and it's hilarious. I want to do this for y'all in real time. Ben Kingsley, very depressing movie. House of Sand and Fog. <laughs> That's the most, like all you have to do is Google Ben Kingsley depressing movie, and there it is. Watch this depressing Nicole Kidman movie. According to Variety, oh, Rabbit, Rabbit Hole. Hole in John Cameron Mitchell's her emotional daughter dies. drama Rabbit Hole, Kidman plays Becca Corbett, a okay. woman grappling with the profound grief of losing her child. All right, you got me. Depressing Meryl Streep movie. The Hours. There it is. Which we're told to look at the hours because of the hours. Movie that they did. And so when we look at the hours. Did I already lose what I was looking at? When you look at the hours of the Dark Knight Rises to when the Dark Knight would spiritually rise, there's 216 in the hours. 105, 216. We know that's that Antichrist, there it is. Antichrist is 
I'm sorry, six times six times six is two sixteen, which is James Bond's car tag in every movie, except No Time to Die. Suddenly it became forty two sixty nine. I have no idea why. Got some theories. Um, 626 weeks. Look at the percent of a common year from the Dark Knight Rises to when he would rise. 1201, which is 121, Antichrist, fused with 110, the height of the twin trumps. So I think, I mean, this is a very high watch day because of these goat full moons. These six of them and the fact that I pet goat begins with the six goat moons in the sky. And the first one was an eclipse in 2020 when everything really began, the ritual began. Corona means crown. The Antichrist what? Receives a crown. The rider on the white horse has a crown given to him. He doesn't earn it. As Jesus rose, this is, I bought a devil switch. And we're told that by the eighth is of the seven in Revelation 17. About the seven kings of mystery Babylon or the seven human antichrist figures from antiquity. But then all of a sudden it speaks of an eighth. And then it says the eighth is of the seven, and that's the body devil. It's because that they were the twin trumps. And in no time to die, James Bond became 008 for a very short time. Then she gave him back. She was 007. And she said, I want Bond to have 007 back. But for a while he was 008. You know, they never said the number. They just kept, they gave Bond back his 00 status. And 007, the African-American lady goes, what's his, what, what's his number? And they never said, because we know what it was. He was 008. The eighth is of the seven. Revelation 17, verses 8 through 12. That's a long study. It's, it's very layered. What else? That's it for now. I'm going to put this across all three platforms. I have personal ciphers on a YouTube channel. I do not share across my where my friends are, my social media platform. I never mention people's names, but I do give uh, perhaps birthdays at times. And I just use a lot of numbers of events and situations. So people that personally know me, it would just be very weird for them to watch stuff like that. <laughs> That's when you get into the really deep stuff. And uh, that's just too much. It's okay for people that don't know me. They see it on YouTube. They're like, okay. But, nah. So anyway, yeah. July 19th is an extremely high watch date. Doesn't mean anything's going to happen. I've seen bigger stuff than this before where things came together and uh, nothing happened, of course, obviously. Also looking big at two days before the August full moon, which would be August 17th. Again, the full moon is the 19th. No, this one is... I'm sorry, June and July were the same. Two days before the full moon were the 19th, Juneteenth. And the, both full moons in June and July were on the 21st. And then the full moons are August 17th and September 17th. Yes. No, I am out of my mind. The July, the June and July full moons were on the 21st. August stands alone 
is dropping all the way down to the full moon being on the 19th. And then September drops two days. See, full moons usually like they did in 2023 they just back up a day like if it's full moons on january 21st well february messes it up let's start at march because it's 28 months it messes it up but once you get to march as a rule basically nine times out of ten it backs up a day like it, if the full moon was march 29th then it would be april 28th may 27th June 26th, July 25th. That's how it usually is. This year, though, there's there's a lot of twins. There's June 21st and July 21st. And then there's August 19th. And then there's September 17th and October 17th. So there's all these twin dates this year. See, it drops from the 21st to the 19th in August. And then in September, it's the 7th, drops all the way to the 17th. It drops 2. And then in October, it's the 17th. What a high watch day October 17th is for the rising and the event taking place on October 15th. Because on the dark night rises, the two teams that played in that Dark Knight Rises football game, it was the Seahawks and the Steelers. They even had Steelers football players, but it was Gotham's team. And it was at Heinz Field. October 17th is 117 because they don't count zeros. So 1017 turns into 117, Revelation 11-7 rising. And look at the time of the full moon, 726. And 726 is Antichrist in English Gematria, which is six times simple Gematria or English ordinal. So if we get to October 15th, weeks before the election, that'll be an extremely high watch day, October 15th, rising on October 17th, which the reason why I talked about the football game, October 17th, I believe it was 2021, the Seahawks actually played the Steelers, which was the same as the Dark Knight Rises football game. It was the Seahawks colors playing the Steelers players because they're real players from the Pittsburgh Steelers actual football team. Uh, we saw uh, Marquis Pouncey. We saw, um, oh, who was that quarterback? Big Ben, Ben Roethlisberger. They were all standing on the sidelines in Gotham's colors. And they were also playing at Heinz Field, which is the Steelers' home stadium. And the other team was the Seahawks' colors. And the Seahawks played the Steelers on October 17th. I believe that was 2021. And we were really thinking something was going to go down two days before that. So the AI has always thrown out, remember the, the fallen angels can see the future. So they've always thrown us the crazy breadcrumbs. They knew what we would be doing, even though very few people watch any of my YouTubes. I don't monetize. I don't do it to make money. But anyway, this video has been long enough. Love y'all. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be nice.